allegedly whatever the stakes are concerning his contract. Oh, definitely. But that was the, the situation at the weekend because everybody thought, well, if he's going to be fit, he played on Tuesday night in a friendly match. So that proved to everyone that his ribs were, were sorted. They weren't as, as bad as first thought. And uh, he never turned, or he wasn't in the, the squad for the, the West Brom game at the weekend and yet again tonight. So it's obviously uh, they don't want to push him very, very close to the wire. Uh, and obviously it looks like he's moving in the January window. And of course it invites people, I guess, to read between the lines. And one thing you could read into it this is that it's another indication that the finances that Venkis have are perhaps not as good and as solid as they've made out of the last few days. Do you share that worry? Well, it's, it's a big worry, uh, the finances here, it's, and that's a question what Steve, Cream, what Steve Keane was going to get to spend. And now it's obviously, I think now they're starting to show their hand when they're having to, to release one of the highest paid players at the football club. But he is uh, at a certain age that possibly maybe this would have been his last uh, season anyway. But uh, Michel hasn't played to the best of his capabilities, and, and maybe that's the way that Steve's been looking at it. It is the 159th Red Rose Derby tonight. Have you ever known the stakes to be as high as they are this evening? Oh, no, the, the stakes are massive. You know, it's, I think every media company all around uh, are here for this game tonight because, you know, it's, it's a, big, a big talking point. You know, two teams there basically don't want to be in the bottom tonight because they know the team that's been in the bottom in the Barclays Premier League have always seemed to be the team that was relegated out of it. And there's a big at stake because both sides are, are down in the doldrums and not winning games and, and both managers are, are finding it very, very frustrating. How would you describe the atmosphere around Ewood Park at the moment? Obviously, the, the local newspaper which made headlines in itself, the Lancashire Evening Telegraph, demanding that Steve Keane goes. A lot of the fans throughout the season have demanded exactly the same. How would you describe the atmosphere around the club at the moment? Around when I arrived, it's, it's been very, very subdued. We're very early for the, the supporters to come here, but you know, the Lancashire Telegraph has been trying to support the football club and trying to help it along its way and, and back, his, back Steve Keane as much as he possibly can. But obviously, uh, the last few games was the games that possibly Steve had to win to really take the club out of its troubles. Uh, they haven't done that, and I think basically the local paper now has, has had enough of it. They, they want to see change. Uh, they need to see Steve Keane getting help, whether it's from someone at Venky supporting it. Do you think you're going to see change, though? Do you think if it is another defeat for Blackburn tonight, there'll be any change tomorrow come that ball meeting? Or do you think Venkis are going to stick out with Steve Keane into the new year? Well, I personally think the question is going to be that I don't think there's anybody here to sack Steve Keane tonight. So, again, it's going to be, will it be over a telephone call from India? It's just a case of wait and see. But if they do get a defeat, I know the fans have really turned against Steve. It's not just a small minority that he thinks it is. It's the large minority now that's done it. Uh, let's focus uh, on the opponents tonight, Bolton. I mean, they're in a far worse position in terms of form. They've lost their last five. and only Coyle under pressure, but not as much, ironically, as Steve Keane finds himself under tonight. What's going to decide tonight's game? Is it about dealing with the pressure that comes with being down the bottom? Is it going to be the defences that ultimately decide what happens? Where do you see this game being won and lost, Kevin? It's going to, I think it's going to be won and lost at both sides. You know, I, I, both sides have lot, let, let in a lot of goals, have lost a lot of goals, but they've also scored goals, Bolton scored goals away from home. And, you know, I can, I'm hoping this game is, is going to be exciting, there's going to be goals in it. But uh, that's going to be the end of it. They'll probably end up in a draw. No side's going to be better off from it. Uh, David May spoke to us earlier t today and he said it, it's, it's vital the fans act as the 12th man tonight, that they really do get behind the team, that they get behind uh, the manager as much as they're able to, given the current situation. Uh, do you think that will happen? Or if it's an edgy first five or ten minutes and perhaps an early goal goes against them, that once again the banners will re-emerge and the atmosphere will somewhat disappear in terms of helping the team? Uh, I, I personally think... Uh... I mean, the fans have been brilliant, you know, whatever people say, the fans have been brilliant. They have backed Steve Keane. They're singing songs now about Christmas with actually Steve Keane at the end of it. So that side of it's been good. Unfortunately, if they do lose an early goal, they will lose the patience. But they have stood behind the players. They have supported the players. And they've been good that way. That It's before the game and after the game is when they, they have got involved in, in separate things to, to dispose of Steve Keane. Do you see either of these two teams surviving this season? 
Well, it's, it's going to be very, very tough because when you're not winning your games up until Christmas, it's, you're going to find it hard at the turn for another 18 games. You've got to really win 12 of them, so it's going to be really tough. It will be tough for both these sides, there's no doubt about it. Uh, they do try and play football, but unfortunately they're not scoring the goals when they want to, and it's, it's leaving them in a, a perilous position. They haven't kept a clean sheet in 11 home games. Uh, Bolton conceding just the 38 goals so far this season. What's your prediction for the season, Kevin? I think it'll be a, a high-scoring 2-2 draw. I think, I think I've gone for a 2-2 draw. A 2-2 draw. OK, well, we will see what happens a little later. Kevin, appreciate your time uh, this evening. And uh, no doubt we'll speak to you again very soon. But if we don't, happy Christmas.